Good morning, good morning, and happy Friday. Cannot believe those beautiful words. Happy Friday, happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of a No Frills video. All week long, the theme has been to save $10 with each tip that I'm giving. So today is going to be a little bit of like random, like, um, you know, pick your favorite way, just giving a couple. One is definitely, I know you're all tired of hearing the don't uh, buy outside coffee trick, but it works. So if you don't, buy outside coffee for five days, you will have saved well beyond $10. That is like a no brainer. Another thing, when you go to the actual grocery store, and do grocery store shopping, you know, look in your wagon, look at what you put in there. I mean, all of us, you know, we tend to do this sometimes just out of habit, sheer habit. We really think it's so necessary. If you buy like a ton of soda, I, I'm not saying cut it out because every once in a while people crave a soda. It's not the healthiest thing. But here's not, it's not a bad idea to reduce, reduce your shopping on the soda. If you're spending, let's say, $15 a month on soda, even in the you know, bottles at the grocery store, cut it in half. Right off the bat, you saved $7.50. And seltzer is definitely a great alternative when you want the bubbles and just add a little bit of juice or flavor or, or pick up the flavored seltzer too. I mean, that's good when you don't want to keep things like that. Look inside of your grocery wagon. Only you could do this while you're shopping and ask yourself, is this a want or a need? That's definitely the way to go. Now, as far as desserts go, you have a lot of options. Many of us have nice little stockpiles of which we could put ingredients together and make our own homemade desserts. Why not? I figured out a way to make chocolate pudding out of hot chocolate. I am not even kidding you. I must have mentioned it on a prior video a few weeks back. It is so yummy. It is so delicious. I'll just mention it to you briefly. So basically what I do is I take about eight ounces of milk, whatever milk you like, and I add to it, I add to it the um, cornstarch, okay? And then I just, you know, start together adding the cornstarch to that. And then what I do is it acts as a thickening agent. I'm adding, as it's heating up, a little bit of vanilla and maybe about a tablespoon of white sugar and a pinch of salt, okay? You're saying, well, that's all. Yep, yep, salt. And then I take one to one and a half packages of my favorite hot chocolate mix. I add it to that. I stir, I stir it together as it's thickening, as it coats. The, you could coat a spoon. You could tell it's starting to thicken up. And you, know, you whisk it together and shut it off immediately. I personally like to have it warm. I like it that way. And I feel like a little kid. I don't know. I just like it. Because <laughs> my mom used to make a similar hot pudding back in the day. So I think it like brings back a little bit of warm, fond memories. But I mean, I took ingredients I already had. I didn't go out and buy a box of chocolate pudding. I had the ingredients. So if you can make your own dessert. You know, like with the stuff you have, go for it, like a chocolate cream pie. If you have graham crackers and, you know, if you want to use, you know, the other instant pudding in a box to do that, that's fine. Whatever. Work with what you have because the truth be told, work with what you have, make a lot of it, and you will be keeping more money no matter what other outside influences are going on. To live a frugal lifestyle is very wise. I just want to say this in closing with the theme of this week. And I really hope I helped save somebody some money this week. The thing is this, no matter what goes on around us, if you or myself, all of us adopt a, uh, an on purpose frugal mindset, how can I get the maximum value without spending a lot of money? That's, that's really the theme of it. And I make a game of it. So in my case, I'm like, well, can I do this alternative or that alternative? Make a game of it. You'll have a lot of fun. You have a little more money in your pocket to do other things with. So there you go. Hopefully it helps some of you this week. Have an amazing, fantastic upcoming weekend. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to show up for the Instant Coffee with Jan Show every Monday through Friday. It comes on at the most oddest time at 12 or 12.05, whatever I'm in the mood in. Take a look by 12.05 a.m. And you will find it sitting there. There you go. Have a great day. Take good care now. Bye-bye.